Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show you a very beautiful chess game. This is the game between Zesel and Waldhofen that was played in Vienna in 1898. White started with e4, black played e5, knight to f3 attacking the pawn on e5, defending and white played bishop to b5. Rui Lopez or Spanish opening. F5. This is known as the Schilman defense. And white played d4. Knight to c3 is the most popular move nowadays. But we have d4. Pawn takes pawn on e4, attacking the knight. Knight takes on e5. Knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, c6, and white played bishop to c4. There was one very interesting game between Taufel and Rattenberg, played in 1969. White played knight to c3, sacrificing the bishop on b5. Black captured the bishop. Knight takes on e4, threatening perhaps knight to d6. Black played queen to c7. White castled, and black was very greedy, captured one more pawn. After rook to e1, black resented his move. Perhaps bishop to e7 should be played. Black played king to d8. How would you continue now if you had white pieces? Knight to g5 is winning. Black captured the rook and lost the queen. But what else can black do? Perhaps queen to f5. And then knight to e6. If queen takes knight, rook takes queen, pawn is pinned. So what else then? Then king to e8 is losing to knight takes pawn on g7. Discovered check, white is winning the queen. But let's go back to our game. In our game we have bishop to c4, queen to a5. Black was looking for checks and captures. Knight to c3. Queen takes on e5 and white castled kingside. Black is a pawn up. White was hoping that his quick development would compensate for the lost pawn. But the lost pawn is not the only problem. Black now has a very strong center. Bishop to b3, knight to f6, bishop to e3. On the surface, it looks like that white is doing well, developing all the pieces. It is black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? It's not a killer move, it's just nice developing move with a threat. Can you see something like that? It is bishop to d6, not only developing the bishop and ready to castle, but threat is queen takes pawn on h2, checkmate. g3, developing with a tempo, attacking the queen, queen to d2. And now black is not castling, there is no need to castle. Bishop to f3. Planning to bring the queen to h3 and then to g2. Check mate. White has a very difficult position. Bishop to f4, attacking the queen. Queen to h5 and there is no time to win the bishop. If bishop takes on d6, queen to h3 and checkmate can't be stopped. White played 
knight to d1 planning to bring the knight to e3 and to defend g2 queen to h3 knight to e3 it is black to move how would you continue in this position if you had black pieces knight to g4 is an excellent move that was the move played in the game and white could have resigned in this position queen takes pawn on h2 can't be stopped well knight takes knight doesn't work because of a checkmate white doesn't have a solution but he's hoping for a miracle check there was no miracles and white was checkmated and let's go back to move number four in this position instead of d4 knight to c3 or perhaps d3 should have been considered and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now